Hello, so I really hope that you're excited as I am, as first of all we're going to be taking a look at the apps that we're going to be building out in this course. So as you can see we have two different apps on the screen, we have the driver's app and we have the rider's app. So obviously the design of the app, judging from what we see here, looks really good. So this is the login screen, so if you really want to register on the app, you can just go ahead and click on this label that says click to register. So if you don't have an account before, so this is where you can sign up as a driver. On the Riders app as well, if you go ahead and click on register, this is where you can sign up as a rider. But just to ensure that we save ourselves a lot of time, I have went ahead to register two accounts, one for the driver and one for the rider. So all I need to do is to go ahead and log in this account so we can see exactly what our app looks like. So here I'm going to go ahead and provide the details of our driver. All right, so I provided a password as well. So let's go ahead and click on login. Okay, so we are inside the driver's app. <laughs> so this is what our driver's app looks like. You can see the very beautiful map, the center marker, the online button, and we have different tabs here. So let's go ahead and log into the rider's app. So we need to go ahead and provide a password as well. All right, so let's go ahead and log in into our rider's app. And bam so as you can see we are into our riders app so this is what our riders app looks like pretty busy but yet very beautiful so as you can see our location was automatically detected by the app so this is our current address so this button is supposed to enable us to be able to save favorite places and on the top side of the app you can see that we have a menu icon so if we click on this menu icon, the side menu jumps out. This is a very beautiful navigation drawer. So this is the name of our rider and probably if you want to have an account image, this is where it's going to display. So if we go ahead and tap outside the side menu, it hides itself. So now that we've successfully seen our driver and our riders app, it is now time to go ahead and test the most important feature of a ride sharing application which is to enable the rider to be able to request for a trip and be able to find a driver go on a trip successfully and be happy so i think that's basically what a ride sharing application should do so what we need to do here will be to go ahead and set our pickup location so we already have the location automatically detected but if we choose to set a different pickup location we can do that as well cinema genesis deluxe cinema as my pickup location all right so let me go ahead and set my destination my destination is going to be somewhere at spa ph all right so now that we've successfully set our pickup location and our destination i'm going to go ahead and click on done to confirm this so as you can see we're able to draw a polyline from our pickup location to our destination so with this, we are also able to estimate how much um, going on this trip can possibly cost us. So these numbers that we see here is more like an estimate based on some certain conditions that we developed within our project. So directly from Directions API, we are able to know that the duration to go from our pickup location to our destination will be around 20 minutes. So if we confirm this information, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and request for a car. But before we can actually get a cab, we need to ensure that we have some available drivers that can actually take us to where we want to go. So all we need to do here will be to go ahead and make this particular driver available online. Alright, so now that our driver is available online, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and request a cab. And bam, so now we have this trip request here, we can go ahead and accept it. All right, so now that I've successfully accepted the request, you can see that the name of the driver is probably showing on the rider's app. So this is Euphony's driver and the driver is already on his way to the pickup location. So if you take a look at this, you can see that it reads your driver is 19 minutes away. So this more like tells the rider how far away the driver is from the pickup location. Now the next thing we need to do is start moving from our current location which is this point to the pickup location. So had it been we are testing on a physical device, we will just need to keep moving and automatically we will be seeing ourselves move along this line to this point and as we are moving we will be getting the updates on the rider's app. 
So what I've successfully done is to create a hack that's going to help us retrieve all the coordinate points from our current location to our pickup location. So all that we need to do is to manually update the current location of this particular simulator. So as you're updating the location, we are going to be seeing ourselves move along this line to our pickup location. So on the left hand side, we can see all the coordinate points from our current location to our pickup location. So what I'm going to do will be to go ahead and update our simulator to position 50. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the latitude value and I'm going to click on the simulator and I'm going to go to the debug menu, select location and select custom location. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the latitude value. So let's copy the longitude value as well and paste it here. So let's go ahead and click on OK. Bam! So as you can see, our current location has now been updated. So we are now 13 minutes away from the rider, which is what we see here. So on the riders app, you can see that our map was updated as well. So which now reads your driver is 13 minutes away. So all I need to do will be to just go ahead and copy the last coordinate point. So let's just go ahead and update the last coordinate point, which is supposed to be our pickup location. I'm going to paste this here, the latitude. And I'm going to paste this here, the longitude. Alright, so we successfully appeared or arrived at our pickup location. So once we are here, all we need to do is to go ahead and notify the rider that we've arrived by clicking on this button. So here you can see that the driver has arrived. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and start the trip. Bam, so the trip has started. So on the riders app, you can see that we are 20 minutes away from our destination. So we kind of still need to go ahead and do the same thing that we did earlier on by manually updating the location of the driver from our pickup location to our destination. Okay, so I've successfully retrieved all the coordinate points from our pickup location to our destination, which is roughly around 180 points. So I'm going to start by updating our driver's current location to position 70. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. So if you're testing on a physical device, you definitely won't need to do all of this. You just need to keep moving and you will just see your movement update along the polyline. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this here. Alright, so we're able to see this beautiful animation and so as you can see, our new current location is 11 minutes away from our destination, which is exactly the same thing that we have on the Riders app. So I'm going to update our current location again. This time around, I'm going to impute the last point, which is supposed to be our destination. So I'm going to paste the latitude value and I'm going to paste the longitude value. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now that we've successfully arrived at our destination, so all we need to do will be to go ahead and drop off our rider. So I also want to mention it in case the need arises, we can go ahead and call our driver, there's a functionality for that. But because this is a simulator, our app doesn't allow you to place a call from a simulator, but if we are testing this on a physical device, we'll be able to place a call. So let's go ahead and drop off this rider. Okay, so this fares has been calculated. So the rider is supposed to pay the driver $80. So on the rider's app, we're going to go ahead and click on make payment. So after making payments, you can see that the app has been resetted. Everything has returned back to normal. And on the driver's app, all we just need to do is to go ahead and collect our money. Bam, so everything is back to normal. So at this stage, the driver can decide to go on a new trip and the rider can also go ahead and request for a new ride. And not to forget, on the driver's app, if you kind of want to know how much that I've really made from this platform, you can easily go into the earnings tab. So it's very obvious that I've gone on seven trips and that seven trips have been able to fetch us $560. So if you want to also know the details of each of these trips, we can go ahead and click on this bar. So this is the list of all the trips that have gone. I think this is the last trip that we just made which actually fetched us $80. So this is our ride sharing app on a basic level. 
So building this very functional ride sharing application will really require us to learn a lot about Firebase database and make use of a lot of Google APIs, which I think is going to really teach us a lot about how to build real world applications. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.